nothing from Rain Brothers here, rainbrothers.com. Um, we've had a few customers over the years who have reported problems. They'll, they'll call in and they'll say uh, they have a jet pump in their basement or in their crawl space, um, and they have this type of pressure switch with a, with a low-level cutoff lever here. And uh, they'll report that they're using an appliance, they're taking a shower, they're doing something, and this, this low-level cutoff will activate and will shut down the pump, and they have to go restart it every time. If that happens, uh, it, it's usually caused by a surge in water usage inside the house. Uh, so if you're running multiple things at once, or if you... Um, if you have something that that uses a lot of water, um, uh, what what happens is this pressure switch is designed to activate at a low pressure threshold. In this case, ones the pressure switches with this toggle switch on it will tur usually turn on at 30 psi, but this toggle switch will activate at 12 psi. So what will happen is if you have an appliance that uses a lot of water, uh, that pressure will start to drop, and before the pump can kick on at 30 psi, the pressure drops off too quickly, and if it hits 12 psi, it will cut the pressure switch off, um, which is why that happens. So even though you have water in your cistern um, or your spring tank, you can still trigger this little low-level cutoff. So the way to remedy the situation is to increase the low pressure threshold of the switch. And to do that, you would remove this gray cap. And there are two, uh, there are two posts, uh, threaded posts, inside the switch. And the larger of the two posts, this one right here, there's a, there's a nut that's keeping tension on this spring. And all you have to do to remedy the situation is twist this nut clockwise to tighten the tension on this spring, which will increase the shut on and shut off pressure of your pressure switch. And it will hopefully move that, that cut in point closer to 40 PSI, so it's not as close to that 12 PSI uh, switch activation threshold. So you wanna tighten this, you're gonna tighten it about uh, three full rotations to increase it about 10 PSI. Um, and if you do that, you'll, you'll hopefully fix that problem. Now, you don't want to increase it too much. You want to, you want to keep it at about 40 PSI as the cut-in point, um, but that will remedy the situation. I hope this has been helpful, and uh, thank you so much for watching. I almost forgot to note that uh, make sure before you work on any pressure switch or, or the pump to cut off the power supply to the pump. Um, so either turning it off at the breaker and, or unplugging it if, if your if your uh, pressure switch is plugged into the wall outlet but uh, please turn off the power supply and double check it with a multimeter if you have one or a voltmeter to make sure that there's no power here before you start tightening this this post here